Engines on five, four, three, two. Launch commit. Lift off. We have lift off for the power. Thanks a lot. Um, I came armed with a, a number of quotes, which I think are generally good conversation starters. Um, the first one I'm going to take from Alan Capro, and then I'm thinking about um, A, the title of the show, Boom, which I want to return to maybe at some point, um, and its location in LA Mart. So the sort of conflation, perhaps, of the sort of economic title, the space of commerce, that perhaps is, uh, you know, not doing necessarily so well, uh, opening up its spaces to uh, artistic uh, projects like the uh, Pacific Design Center. Uh, at any rate, the quote is: "It's from 1964. Um, Capro, who actually um, was a uh, associate to the dean at CalArts, right around the 1970s, early 70s, um, and was very interested in the question of art education." wrote this uh, essay in 1964 called The Artist as a Man of the World. Um, there, he comes up with this still somewhat shocking quote, I think, uh, which goes like this. Um, if artists were in hell in 1946, now they are in business. And what he means by that, I think, is post-war artists were somewhat isolated, uh, you know, living in their garrets, associating in these small bars, uh, basically to some extent ignored, uh, at least initially, uh, by the public at large. By, by 1963, of course, the situation had changed or was changing, um, and Capro sort of sees the artist sort of coming out uh, into the world. That question of uh, isolation is always uh, somehow brought to bear on art in Los Angeles. Uh, whether uh, it's a source of the sort of quality of the art, that it's isolated, that artists are left alone, that they have the time to work, or whether it's you know, the opposite, whether it's the, uh, a source of a kind of provincialism or whatever, uh, it's still open. Uh, but the one thing that I think was always agreed on was that LA uh, art schools have been, if there's no center, uh, like in New York, in terms of galleries, museums, watering holes, et cetera, LA art schools have always provided the center. I'm wondering, uh, I'm gonna throw this out, uh, whether that's still the case, whether we can still think of the LA Art School as the center uh, of the LA art world, uh, to, uh, and if that's even a, a sort of worthwhile um, question to, um, to continue asking. Are you asking me? I, th I think it definitely is more so than in New York. I mean, because I went from Yale to New York and I had a community of people that had gone to, I had gone to school with, but it was very different than I moved here in 2001 and I noticed that if, because I hadn't gone to school here, it was very difficult to sort of enter into that world. But it's true that everything sort of revolves around or circulates around the art schools, um, whether you've gone there or you're teaching there. Or, but I think it does create this sort of web or community, and I think that it works really well. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a generally kind of a supportive community rather than a sort of very competitive community, which I think is what you find in other, like on the East Coast a little bit more. It's true that it's um, both a kind of it's both a community and a support structure, and I think um, you know the point is made that most LA uh, universities and even art schools have their own galleries, so they're sort of self-sufficient mechanisms in a certain way. They can both produce artists and show their work, or give them some kind of venue to show, and then also they can sort of receive the work. And the point again about isolation in LA was always made about the lack of a infrastructure, be it uh, in terms of galleries or critics or whatever. But in art school, you make the artist, you make the art, you, you show the art, and then you talk about the art. So you have this complete uh, circuit in a way. Mm -hmm. um, that obviously uh, risks becoming insular, right? And that could be the argument uh, that people would make about art school art, that it's a product of a certain kind of insularity. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you know, teachers, uh, teach students. Students sometimes then are hired by the same institution, will go on to teach other students. And yeah. again, you have this sort of feedback loop. Yeah. So um, on the upside, though, that's a certain kind of tradition that would persist there that would be you know, broken, let's say, 
uh, if you were simply to let art be ruled by market forces. Um, so I don't know, again, that's, uh, uh, there's two sides uh, to the question, but I think they come up because of, I mean, they come up to me because of the location uh, of the show. It's, an, it's a show of art school art, or it's a show of art made by graduate students, and it's placed in a sort of openly commercial context. So yeah. it brings up the relationships of these two worlds. I don't know if you have some thoughts on that, uh, Jeremy. Uh, how many questions are in that question? Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, 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 I mean, obviously, art schools play a larger part in the LA art world than they do in the art world on the East Coast. But that's partly because the art schools on the East Coast have refused to move in terms of what they do uh, since the 1970s. As an FSU, though, I, I point out incest is common. I bet you half the faculty of Yale went to Yale. So um, that's not peculiar to California. Uh, I don't understand. Um, I said how many questions are there. I, I'm not quite sure how that relates to the question of isolation. Um, I don't think it's true that LA is isolated in the way that it was in the 1960s. Um, I think art is pretty much the same everywhere at this point. Um, as I've said, you know, my dad used to go around the world and send me presents from all around the world and they'd be different. But if I buy a toy for my grandchildren, whether I buy it in New York or Berlin or here, it's Toys R Us. <laughs> and uh, the same is true of the art I see in the galleries in Berlin, New York. It's, it's all, it doesn't seem to me to be very different. Um, uh, uh, but, and then, um, and then I th wonder whether there's a question of of other kinds of isolation in in your question. Uh, in, in which case, I would think then. Um, this is not geographical. When artists are isolated from the community, there are, that's usually because in one way or another, they're not getting anything out of the community that's very useful to them. And that is not a condition that's peculiar to Los Angeles. So I don't know mm -hmm. if that's what it Well, I, you know, let me just throw in this other quote, and it pertains directly to art schools, and it's from, um, John Baldessari, when he was hired on to, to head off the, um, the post-studio program at CalArts in 1970. Um, his program was initially, I mean, framed in a very direct way, I think, to combat this perception that he had of a kind of stultifying effect uh, in LA on artists due to the lack of sort of exposure to a larger art world. So he, I think, really thought about the art school as an art world in this global sense. Um, and he says, essentially my idea is that you can't teach art. There should be a lot of artists around rather than just people talking about art. I thought we, meet, we needed as many artists from Europe and New York as possible because there seemed to be a stranglehold on the kind of art that was being supported in LA. The idea was to create a program which would transcend the local art situation. So again, I think here, uh, you know, as you're saying, this, the situation obviously has changed uh, in the space of, you know, it's 40 years, I guess, since this comment was made, right? Oh, so yeah. uh, <laughs> that said, though, it's, I think it's still interesting to sort of keep track of that kind of history and and perhaps the role that the schools have had in forming a particular uh, version of LA art, be it particular or generic. Uh, in this case, perhaps it's a generic version, right? Baldessari is talking about bringing as many people from all over the world into this place so that the, the art made at CalArts becomes more like the art made everywhere else, perhaps. Um, but at the same time, I think it really does point to the sort of singular function of uh, the art schools in creating an art world, uh, at least at this point in time. And again, what I'm wondering is to what extent can we say that they're still doing that? I guess that's what I was asking. Uh, it was possible in Los Angeles, first at CalArts, then elsewhere, including in my program, to uh, 
uh, organize in particular graduate programs in a way that made more sense than um, the, the way in which they had been organized hitherto. Uh, and so Los Angeles is swarming always with recently graduated MFAs. Uh, since I moved to Los Angeles, which is 1980, I meant to come for three months. It was John Baldessari who brought me here. Um, less and less people have felt obliged to move to New York after they graduated. So this enormous pool of people who want to exhibit is bubbling around in LA. Uh, but also, I mean, look, I'm not going to, uh, 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 how much can I say? In the intervening in years, since 1970, when John, who by the way was not known as a California artist and had a mm -hmm. reputation in Europe which preceded anyone around here paying attention to him, um, in the intervening years, uh, there have been phenomena like the career of Mike Kelly and the career of John Baldessari and, and, and others, which have made Los Angeles an international center and have, as I say, rendered it the place where art comes from, which is as international as art from anywhere else. So um, I'm sure that the sheer volume of art students in LA means that the art schools have a big influence on what is shown in LA. This would, yeah, it's sort of logical. Um, but the extent to which we should seek to find something specific in that or something which really explains art in Los Angeles, I think could be, could be a red herring of a certain mm. sort. Because it is the case that, as I keep saying, art is so international that Los Angeles' place in it pedagogically may be peculiar and singular. But whether that's the whole story about art in L.A., whatever that is, by the way, because I resist the idea that such a thing any longer is L.A. art, um, then um, I think that would need further discussion. Don't you think, though, that the, the economy here makes it really different than in New York, for example? Like, there's so much pressure to, to do shows that sell, whereas it seems like there's less pressure here because things don't really sell that much here, so the work, the work is better. Like when you go, to, I feel like when I go to galleries in New York, like the last time I went was a couple months ago, all I saw were huge paintings that were thirty thousand dollars or more, or like two hundred thousand dollars, and I feel like it was really boring in comparison to what I was looking at here. I mean, there is some of that here, but it feels like, and there are so many different kinds of spaces here at every level that. Um, and I'm sure that kind of thing exists in New York, but people don't pay attention to it like they do here. Mm -hmm. You know, so everybody goes to these things. And I, I feel like that has as much of an impact as the schools. It's true. I didn't want to make it a, a sort of a simple dichotomy of, you know, in New York, the market or the gallery is the center of the art world. In LA, the school is. Right. Come on, and, wish. Yeah. Right. Uh, but, <laughs> but to some extent, right? That that notion is is sort of inculcated into uh, the story, the narrative that's told about um, LA art, really? especially that narrative where LA art somehow evolves out of an art school, which initially uh, has this kind of program of uh, not exactly sheltering, but in, in, informing. It at least has a program of informing uh -huh. uh, artists about the sort of broader. Uh, art world, but it, it does get to that kind of question that uh, you know, if it if it no longer is the center, uh, does it become a subset of some other center? And then what would that sort of mean for um, not strictly the work produced here, but the way that we talk about that work? I guess right, the the stories that we tell about the work. Um, if the school is no longer the center, also what do you teach students in a school? Do you teach them? specifically how to sort of construct a career outside of school? Does it remain to some extent insular in that sort of notion of informing or passing down uh, sort of a set, uh, sets of philosophies and practices and techniques or whatever? Um, I think that does start to change, you know, 
even if the work, I, I take what you're saying, Jeremy, that the work in some sense here would be similar to the work you'd see in New York, et cetera. But I guess the way that we talk about it and, and think about it and, and narrate its development uh, still sometimes uh, could be different uh, in a certain sense. Uh, or if it's not different, you know, that again brings up this kind of question of what then becomes the story that we tell about uh, art schools in Los Angeles. Are they finishing schools? Are they kind of, uh, you know, are they um, the, the, the doorway uh, to a career, strictly speaking? Well, um, uh, to just get back to something that was already said, I think New York is, uh, the reason why less young people move to New York is because it is such a terrible place to live in terms of rent. And, and uh, I don't know if it goes so far as you and say that the art there is like worse than the <laughs> art here, but I mean, um, it's certainly true that people live in Williamsburg and they get like a corridor and they pay five grand a month for it and they have to sell something and it, it, it takes a toll. Um, the the compar glorifying LA in comparison to New York is not something I'm going to get into. Um, I have three hometowns, London, New York and Los Angeles and everywhere I go people from the other two are trashing the one I happen to be in. Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, to repeat, I think art schools, and all the art schools in LA are not the same. They have, there are differences between them, and, and um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I think to be brutally honest and obvious about it, obviously people come out of art school, they want to show their work. Uh, why wouldn't they? And so, um, obviously schools or the people who teach in them do what they can to get people in a place where they can figure out how to do that, but no one wants to run an art school which is a farm team for the gallery system, with all due respect, and um, <laughs> precisely because that's not how, how either you can teach things or how people can think about being an artist usefully, or how they can usefully have a relationship to the gallery system, but the gallery system is a system. And um, we don't have a non-relationship to it. Whether the relationship between, let me just say this too. Um, I don't know whether the relationship between galleries and specific schools in Los Angeles is something that you couldn't compare to New York. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but I could name four galleries in New York City where if you went to Yale, you've got a good shot of getting a show. And, um, I met, I, and we know that's the case here too. So um, again, let's not have fantasies of uniqueness. No, that's true. I do want